What's up folks? It's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. It's the beginning of February. I'm heading out to scout today. And uh, I just wanted to talk to you guys about hunting public land. It's not as easy as what those shows say. Uh, for the most part, us as average hunters, a good deal of us don't have our own land. Or if you do have your own land, it's a small enough parcel that there's no way you can manage it. Or sometimes just the cost of managing that parcel is so expensive that you can't properly manage it. So for me, the last three years, uh, I've spent hunting public land, and it's been a mixed bag. Um, I was fortunate enough last year to shoot the biggest buck of my life during archery season on public land, but conversely, over the last two years, last three years, I've only shot two deer on public land. So for me, it's a matter of learning as much as I can, whether it's from YouTube or communicating with other people, reading, or simply from the experiences that I have in the woods. I'm not gonna quit. I'm gonna keep busting my tail on it, and I know I'm gonna get knocked down a couple of times and continue to make mistakes, but every year I think I'm getting a little bit closer, and my goal is to more consistently find deer on public land. So today, I'm gonna go ahead and share a story with you guys about my struggle this year to find deer on public land in the month of October. Hey folks, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. I can't believe it's here. Opening day of New York State Archery season. And before I even got out of the neighborhood this morning, I saw a doe. Hopefully that's a good sign for what's to come this season. I'm taking Jared this morning and the two of us are going to a piece of property in which we've seen quite a few doe on camera. We're hopefully gonna get a doe this opening morning. Jared's never been out doing the public land hunting piece, so it's all new to him this year. Really looking forward to exposing him to it. Okay, guys, getting ready to head out in the woods. We'll see you there. We're ready to be out and go. Okay, let's get on it. Day one. I was oh, straight out of the gate. Um, there's just this little opening in this little clearing behind us, and it's literally the only window that we're not blocked. And I turned around, and she was 30 yards, just so as soon as you turn around, she had seen one of the two I think she'd already seen me. Yeah. I'd already just twisted and moved a little bit just to draw her eyes up. And right. uh, she already had me back when I turned around. I'm like, ah, son of a She was big, big doe. Like, really big doe. It's the old I way just this big old neck and head on her. Like, holy smokes. That's awesome. That's a big, that's a big lady. But, uh, well, that's the only way they could have come in that we weren't going to see him. To have crossed our scent trail coming in. I was wondering in. if she kind of was maybe following that in, just checking us out, or checking out whatever, right? Whatever she got. It's the same way we came in, yeah. yeah. She might have been right on her trail. Oh, so, first day on public, we saw a deer. Yeah. That's good. I mean, any place else, uh, 30 yards. She, she was, yeah, I mean. <laughs> Once Halloween hits, oh, yeah. lose my mind for about two and a half, three weeks. Yeah. That's all I can think about. Great first morning. Uh, Jared and I got out, uh, kind of got the kinks out of our equipment and figured out what worked and didn't work on that first morning. Uh, we got to see three deer, enjoy a beautiful day, and the rest of the season is on its way. I'm in a little bit of a clump of pines right now, and as I come out of this clump of pines and uh, open up into hardwood forest, I'm hoping that I'm going to find some acorns. After gypsy moths the last two years, the absolute oak trees have been decimated and then we had a really really late frost this year in all the valleys so there's like absolutely zero acorns in any of the valleys in upstate New York so this next two weeks I'm going to work up to some of the top of these points on state land and uh, see if I can find some trees that survived um, the frost because there was no frost at higher elevation so wish me luck hoping to find some trees with some acorns today because 10, 12 miles of scouting over the past two weeks, I've found zero acorns. Well, I didn't find any trees with acorns. I did find the intersection of two trails right along 
the edge of a transition of pines and open hardwoods and sat there for the evening and didn't see anything. But again, second time out, first time with my sticks and hang on stands. And uh, I think all my gear is ready to go. So we got a cold front coming in this weekend. I'll work hard here for a couple of days and we'll get back at it this weekend. See you folks. There's three deer sitting out in the field in front of me. This fog rolling through, that's super cool. Third one way in the back. Tonight, I'm gonna head out again to check a couple of these ridges to see if I can find any areas where we've got acorns dropping. And uh, with this cold front this weekend coming in, I'm excited to sit in the tree for the rest of the weekend. Uh, mid 80s yesterday, high 70s today. Tomorrow it's gonna to be high 60s, and then it's gonna be almost down to 59 or 60 degrees on Sunday. So with this cold front, even though it's early October, I'm hoping it's gonna get the deer up on their feet and moving. I actually had to come to the very top of this ridge over 1,950 feet to even find four mature oaks that had even some acorns. So I got myself set up right now. Where I'm hoping some deer are bedded over the edge. I've got the wind in my face and I've got about 40 minutes before sunset, hoping that maybe some doe will come in and feed on these acorns uh, before it gets dark. Well, not bad. Third night out this season. First time really hunting. Kicked up three doe as I was working in there, and about 45 minutes before dark, I had two buck work in behind me, and uh, as I was trying to get them on video, I uh, had two doe come up within 20 yards to the left of me and blow and spook and run away. But you keep learning. It's a good night out. It's saw five doe and two buck and uh, plan on hunting the rest of the weekend. Uh, rest of the weekend from a tree, not from the ground, though. the weather change when now it's supposed to rain for the next hour. So I'm underneath the canopy of some hickory leaves, so I'm just going to sit tight. My hope is in an hour when the rain stops, I'm going to get some deer to get up and uh, see a little bit of movement. Radar is not looking too good. Getting out of the stand this morning, I went down to put that camera in on that scrape. That's uh, in a real thick part of a clear cut that I've had a camera in the last two years and I got down in there, somebody else already has a cell in there. That's part of public land, what are you gonna do about it? Ended up getting home, getting all my stuff dried out and now I'm back out for the evening. So tonight I'm coming out and I'm sitting on this thin sliver of public land where last week when I was picking up some cameras, I saw a real big, 10 point super mass on him, probably 140 plus, and uh, he went back out of the field and onto public. And after looking at some maps, it looks like there's bedding in a pond on one side of the public, and then there's uh, a green field on the other side of the public. Hopefully tonight I can catch eyes on him. I'm kind of back a little bit, doing a little bit more of an observation set, trying to figure out maybe where he exactly um, comes off of that private across the public and then onto the private field. Who knows though, maybe I'll get lucky and uh, I'll end up coming past pretty close to us. I get the wind in my favor, but it's kind of gusty right now and it's swirling every once in a while, so I'm a little concerned that if that doesn't change, um, I may hop out and get out of here. And I didn't have any luck tonight. Uh, I did pull that SD card, and uh, I'll see what that looks like when I get home. But the funny thing is, I had uh, four hikers go past me. I wasn't sitting but 15 yards off a hiking trail. They had no clue I was there. So, great day, even though I didn't see any deer. Excited that uh, season is ramping up. Next weekend will be the second weekend in October. And then after about the 15th or 16th of October, I'm excited because any cold front that comes through, I'm going to go ahead and be ready to hop out into... Not more deer. Any 
cold front that comes by, I'm excited because I've got a ton of stands uh, that all have active scrapes on that I'm ready to sit in. amazing how on a wet day or when the leaves are wet deer just appear out of nowhere and suddenly they're right there that little buck that just came up I didn't see until he was like 12 yards away he went to go behind me and it was funny because as soon as he hit my wind he just stopped couldn't figure out what it was and then slowly just kind of worked himself away Well, without having the right clothes on today, I wore my rain gear with a fleece underneath. I'm freezing. So it's about 9.30. I'm going to call today. I'm going to get out of here. Heading out for the afternoon. Looks like I'm going to be dodging rain. It's sun and rain and sun and rain for the rest of the evening. Uh, just hoping that I can get out on this east facing slope with a strong west wind and uh, catch some deer which are bedded on that leeward side which are getting up to head to some fields to feed. So we'll see what happens. If it gets too bad, I'll just come on back. It is a super difficult time trying to figure out what tree to choose because of the thermals because there weren't very many good trees. I realize now that I'm sitting in this for the first time, I am way too close. There's no way I'm even going to have a chance to draw my bow back. The good news is, is the guy that I'm in here to come after usually is here in the mornings about 7.30 spot right there to sit and I think I'll be all right to sit in. By the time he gets my wind he'll be dead. I'm gonna hop out of here. We got about a 20 minute window after this rain ends until the next heavy rain comes. We get cleaned up and uh, I'm going to go find another place further up towards the ridge uh, on this same trail where I can move this tree stand sometime in the next couple of weeks. Here I am, still early October. I decided that I'm gonna move a stand that I had up um, this summer over a scrape that I thought was gonna be real productive this fall. And after going and sitting in it once last week, I just found out I'm way too close to the trail. I couldn't even pull the bow back without a deer hearing me. So I've done a lot of research this week, talked to my buddy Jarrett and kind of made a plan. Um, just kicked up two deer over there to the right. It's so tough to get in here. deer blowing at me down there. I'm in here early tonight so that I can go get this hang on stand down. There's a nice rub right there that's fresh in the last couple of weeks. I just pulled the leaves away down below it and there's fresh shavings on the ground. It's kind of cool. It's at least a decent buck that's not a little guy.
there's my grapevine mock scrape and that's the trail that they used to come down and I don't want to know what I was thinking a month ago to only put it five yards off the trail dummy uh, I know approximately where I'm gonna put it it's just on the uh, eastern side of the top of a ridge just out of the wind and uh, I think I know where it's gonna go I'm gonna walk in tonight I'm gonna go ahead and find a place to put the stand and I'm gonna get up and sit in there early tonight uh, for the rest of the evening and I'm gonna keep playing around with the milkweed and try to see if I can figure out exactly what the winds are doing in this area. So maybe it's gonna give me a little bit more intel when I come in here to hunt once things get really rolling here in the next two weeks. Well, there's deer trails that come across this east facing slope. Here's this top of the ridge and this point that comes down all sorts of bedding around that corner on the northern face. There's a trail above me and a trail below me. I'm gonna go four sticks high. My hope is that with any thermals, any deer on this trail right here, my scent will go over top of them. But this is an experiment. We'll see how it works out. Morning folks, it's Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. It absolutely poured down rain all day yesterday and I woke up this morning and it's still pouring. Good news is it's supposed to let up here in the next hour to hour and 15 minutes. So I'm gonna drive up to the area that I'm gonna be hunting this morning and I'm gonna sit and wait the rain out and the instant that the rain is done and the radar says that it's pretty much gone, I'm gonna hop out of the truck, get my stuff out, head down to my tree stand and sit for about three or four hours and see if I can catch deer that wanna get up and start moving around after this rain. The spot I'm sitting at this morning is a funnel that comes down off of a clear cut in a field that's about 250 yards away. Every time I look at the radar, there's another patch, another patch, another patch coming. So I've got about 20, 25 minutes until the next patch of rain comes. I'm going to clean my stuff up and get out of here. Sometimes that's how it happens. Not the weather I expected. Didn't see any deer. Just get ready for the next time. That didn't work out the way I planned it. I said it was supposed to quit raining by 7. And all it did was keep raining off and on. I was hoping to 
catch some bucks coming down after feeding first thing this morning when the rain ended but rain just kept coming so never ended up seeing any deer and actually the scrape that I was interested in hadn't been worked lately at all so it's all right it happens that's why they call it hunting so much for ending at 7 it's 10 15 on the way home it's still raining okay guys it's been about five or six days of straight rain so now the weather's clearing up for a couple days before the next front comes in so i'm still trying to get out in the middle of october here and get a doe i've had a couple opportunities already just haven't been able to seal a deal so i'm heading out tonight one of the few places that i found some acorns see if i can get some deer that are coming off bedding areas coming up onto this ridge to feed on acorns as it gets dark we'll see you out there The deer did what I thought. They came up off of that steep face up onto the top of the ridge and started heading out into that grassy CRP area. The only problem was I was halfway down the stand <laughs> and it was totally dark. Whatever it was, buck or doe, didn't like me very much, couldn't figure out what I was. Blew about 10 or 15 times, walked away. What's up folks, this is Kurt from Whitetails Deer Hunting. I'm gonna do my morning interview here in the truck. It's got 15 to 20 mile an hour winds today, so I have a feeling it's gonna be difficult to hear out in the woods. I'm heading to a property this morning that I found last uh, March that I'm super excited about. I've got a huge community scrape here. I've got a tree that's got several licking branches underneath it, and I've got the biggest deer I have on camera um, at this location. I've got three pictures of them this year. And, I've got the right winds this morning. It's a moderate cold front that came through right here, middle of October. Um, it's a pretty windy day, so I think I can get in there quietly. So uh, I'm gonna get up there today, get set up, sticks and hang on stand, and uh, sit for three or four hours, and uh, hope that everything I've been waiting for for a year comes true, and I end up seeing a bunch of deer moving in this location this morning. A little bit high today. So while I'm doing this public land stuff, it just doesn't work out the way you expected it to. I thought for sure I had it all figured out in this tree, but I got up in here today and I ended up getting into a world of branches above the world that I planned on sitting in. So as I get out of here today, I'm going to have to adjust and go ahead somehow I'm going to mark on the tree itself where my stand should go. So next time I come into the dark, I've got it set up correctly. I didn't see any big buck this morning. Well, didn't see any deer, but I uh, had a good morning. Learned a lot about where my seat was and how I had to adjust the seat in that stand. I was just too high this morning. And uh, found a whole bunch of fresh scrapes on the way out, which was good. And I'm looking forward to uh, getting back in there again. But got a couple SD cards I gotta check. And, uh, Spend the Sunday with the family, watching some football, relaxing. We'll get back at it this week.
make a decision here. There's rain on the way. I'd like to sit as long as possible, but I also don't want to get my stuff soaked at the beginning of the weekend. Especially with cold temperatures coming the next couple of days. I want stuff to be dry. Almost got out of here in time. Last five minutes of walking here. A little bit of rain. Nothing heavy enough that's gonna get my stuff soaked though, so that's good. Keep stuff dry. Watch the weather. Decide whether or not the rain's gonna let off to get out tonight. Whether I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow morning. A little bit heavier rain the last two minutes, but still I think my stuff's in good shape to stay dry. What's up folks? After work, last week of October, I'm trying to hustle in here. One more week before daylight savings time hits. But I still got time this week. It gets real tight getting out into a stand after work when uh, daylight savings time hits. It's been raining for two solid days and literally the rain just stopped about 45 minutes ago. So doing a hanging hunt trying to get in here trying to get set up get my cameras up um, I'm over top of a scrape just hoping to get in here soon enough that uh, I don't bust deer or get halfway up my stand and deer walks by okay we'll see you in the stand well such a rush tonight left my GoPro sitting on the seat of my truck and the adapter that would have put my phone on that arm somewhere I can't find it so I got my phone one camera and I do have the tech cam 6 on my bow watch this would be the night I get the opportunity and I don't have all my cameras oh well I'm on the woods got a fresh scrape in front of me which is nice but it definitely got to squeeze a shot in between some branches. That's for sure. One small buck, that's all I saw. I did pull my SD card and move back about five yards in a tree that offers me a little bit more cover for the next time I come in. Guess what? It's raining again. Damn it. First frost of the morning. I'm parked here to head in to where I'm gonna sit at a natural ground blind. Just had a guy come in and wanna park right where I am and he decided not to and moved on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out there, excited. First cold morning. I've got quite a few deer on camera yesterday, so let's hope we get some big guys out here this morning.
There's no way you could have bet me that at 10 a.m. on the first morning of a frost, I haven't seen a deer. No way. I thought for sure I was going to see some deer moving this morning. And I haven't seen anything but a chipmunk and a mouse. <laughs>